tidal wave unfortunately is not running. Not that I necessarily want to get wet today, although it is a little bit warm in the morning. But just another ride to take people away from the other lines basically. The more rides you have open, the better for for like put through. And with the um, Justice League ride opening sometime next year, hopefully sooner rather than later, that'll also decrease the lines. 80s already, upper 80s. At least 80. I mean, if you're sitting in the car, we hot. Yeah, it's very hot. Yeah. Heading over to Riddler's Revenge. You can see the green fence is still up for the construction of the Justice League ride, Battle for Metropolis, which this whole area will eventually be turned into Metropolis, I believe. I'm not sure how Riddler's gonna fit in with that since he's a Batman villain, but whatever. For some reason, this is where you enter um, Tidal Wave. I don't know why, but it is. Tidal Wave is a very simple ride, just kind of a shoot the shoot. <laughs> That boat up there, getting to turn around. Hope the line won't be too long. You actually get more wet on the bridge coming off than you do on the ride itself. Kind of anticlimactic, but you know, it's something to do, so we'll see. We'll check out Mr. Edward Enigma's ride. See how long of a wait it is. Nice facades and everything. Why they still call this a waterfront? There is no more water anymore because they, they took out that. You know, this is where they're going to have some of the uh, Justice League ride right through there. Not a whole lot to see right now. It's like just basically laying a lot of groundwork there. This is the uh, view of the construction from the jet stream side. Well, not really much to see that's new. There are actually some people working today. So the progress is being made. Probably not a lot of it visible, but probably laying the electrical lines, water, whatever else needs to be done. Here's a good shot of the construction from the exit of Gold Rusher. Looks like they're done working for today now. Now what is this stuff? Why are there a bunch of... I don't know what these things are, covered in... Netting? Yeah. Oh, they probably just did it as part of the... Did they just... Were, were there... No, they, that would have been gone a long time ago. Are these recently chopped down trees? Oh yeah, maybe. Maybe. Uh, maybe because of the rains and the wind. I would have to watch a previous video to see whether there were trees there. Are we going to Vietnam? Mm, possibly. 
As you can tell, I have no idea where I am. Yeah. Oh, I'm, what I'm wondering is maybe they had to cut down the trees in order to transport some stuff over to where the construction is for the Justice League ride. Maybe. You know, they had like some sort of clearance issue where they had a very long piece. I'm like, well, we can't bring it with the trees there, so bye bye trees. I mean, other institutions, when they do something like that, they'll actually uproot the trees, move them, whatever they need moved through, then put back the trees. Well, this is the uh, path of least resistance. Too, but then you end up with those weird plastic bags over tree stumps. I'm sure, well, I was gonna say, I'm sure they'll remove it at some point, but knowing them, yeah, see, here's another cut tree, yeah. Yeah, spray paint probably means cut this. Because, you know, they are going to kind of redo this area. I hope it will include this barbecue place. Like, you can keep this barbecue, but retheme it something metropolisly. <laughs> or small building. It's still weird, though, that this will be Metropolis with Justice League, and there's Superman way up there in his own little enclave up on Samurai Summit. Because this is where the Batman action figure used to be. This has always been like kind of DC part two. You had Batman on the other side, tidal wave in the middle of it, and then Riddler here in the Batman action theater, and then just barbecue. Yeah, let's go check out and see if there's any update on construction. Try to get a shot from Gold Rusher later too. Ah, oh, our people's working there. Looks about the same, honestly. nice to have these flower beds, but I think they need a, a little bit of TLC. So here we have a Metropolis update. So they pretty much have this whole area entirely closed off. Green fence all the way down through the waterfront area. Let's see what we can see around. So they might be retheming the barbecue, the JB's Smokehouse. You can see the Justice League ride right there on the left. Try to see if I can get some better positioning. Maybe from the from the Gold Rusher queue on the exit. See what we can see. Yeah, they've ripped up all the tables. Now you can see through this fence a little bit. A little bit of a line for bumper cars. Huh? Why are they doing construction all the way back here? Oh, well, I, well, I think they're retheming it. Oh, okay. And they want to have extra. Yeah, so, so since that's closed that's and, right? yeah, because I, I think they're just putting a different dressing on it basically. And the waterfront area is closed too because they're actually working on that. Oh, see, this is the best hole. Yeah. Let's just get kind of a panoramic shot. Well, well, we'll check back, you know, whenever we do our next visit. See how we're doing. Certainly has gone vertical there. <laughs> There's a guy working there. Just whistle while you work. And yes, our next vlog should be coming from Disneyland. Should be a fun area once we're done. Very fun. Yeah, so I was commenting before about how I wondered if the waterfront area would get a makeover, and yes, it is. So that'll be good. I'm pleased with that. Thank you, Six Flags, for <laughs> listening. I take full credit for that, of course. Let's see. Yeah, I get a little, of a, a little bit of a shot here of the building. That's the Justice League Rye, and then you can see the signs torn down from the eating area. See if I can get a better shot from the Gold Rusher queue. Yeah, all the tables look like they're ripped up too. They're really redoing the area. Nice. That's a better view. I wonder what 
they're gonna do with that gazebo. If they're gonna do anything with it. And hopefully they actually retheme the rest town area to uh, Metropolis things. Kind of the back view of it, you can kind of see how long and wide the building's gonna be. You know, I think it's kind of a ride like Buzz Lightyear meets Toy Story Midway Mania. It doesn't need a ton of space, but it'll be stopping, you get to see the practical effects, like the smoke and such, and then the screens, and and the animatronics and such. Oh, yeah, looking forward to this. Hopefully it'll be good and give Six Flags an actual, like, triple-A dark ride. Hmm, just from walking up, you can see that the Shoal building is fully covered now. So quiet on the side of the park. There's nothing to do over here. Like Apocalypse is being retracked. Of course, Riddler isn't accessible. Justice League isn't open yet. The food's not open. I don't think Sandblasters has been open. Well, there's a uh, worker there, but no one else though. I'll try to get to a good spot and give a peek inside. Yeah, I think they're going to redress the barbecue spot, but nothing yet. And they took out the gas station in front of uh, Riddler where they used to have the on-ride photos. So that's gone. And as I said earlier, the, the walls are on the Justice League building. Of course, it'll look a lot nicer once they're done with the aesthetics on the outside. I'll say Justice League and all that goodness. I read somewhere that the queue for Riddler is going to be kind of moved or like changed a bit where part of the old Riddler queue will actually be used for Justice League and it will be shortened. Which hopefully you'll be able to see a bit more before you go down there and be like, whoop, it's too long. Opening this summer, Justice League Battle for Metropolis, Ride, Play, Triumph. Anyway, we just rode Gold Rusher. I showed some shots from up there. This, this looks like, yep, this looks like a good gap too. This is gonna be the uh, beer gazebo area from what I understand. And then you have the uh, food area. There's gonna be a big belly, just, and I think some other DC properties turned into restaurants. Looks like they're repainting the outside. It'll be nice. I'm I'm pleased with the work they're putting in. Yeah, on the back side right here, I think this tree's grown a little bit. I believe this is the spot I did it from last time. But I think this is going to be the new entrance for, for Tidal Wave right here. I, I read that they're not going to be entering from the other side, inside of which is now going to be Metropolis. I don't believe this was here before. This looks like fresher concrete. So just for future reference, the sign for Tidal Wave, you know, it's pointing over to the movie district where the entrance used to be. I want to see how long it takes for them to actually change that sign to where the entrance will be down over that way. Some of the signs like are really for a long time they're incorrect. They would say like the old uh, Superman and instead of like Su Superman Escape from Krypton it just be Superman the Escape or they would have things in weird directions or just right not even on there that are newer. You can see scaffolding on the side here probably for the paint and primer again. So we can peek around the edge a bit more see what they're doing. They're doing something right here, right by the uh, JBs. So they do have scaffolding around there, so they might be looking to put on some paint to change. And perhaps some sort of planter here, or, or opening kind of showpiece to the Metropolis area. I don't know if I've seen the concept art for this area. If you look carefully, you can see that they're painting the Riddler. They're making it yellow and a lighter green. They're right above that building there. 
Don't know how I feel about that. Yellow, I guess, would come from the Riddler's cane, for lack of a better word. It's pimp cane. Oh, look at this. They've... Is this open for business? I guess it is. Huh. They don't have much of the signage up yet. Just french fries, black bean burgers, chicken strips, and just a sign for pizza. Now, let's see. The yeah, spot I would have looked on to get over here is kind of taken up. Oh, they're actually using a, some sort of digger. Oh, they're taking out the stairs. Look at them. That thing's breaking up concrete, I think. check it out it looks like some of the stuff is open this one isn't open yet though no they repainted the tables and everything pretty cool probably a lot of the same food though i'd imagine oh so they, they have the sign separated over there Does this seem like the same kind of menu to you? Yeah. Okay. Let's go see if like the pizza is the same. The menu board seems to be a bit clear. I don't know if they have the screens as well. Or maybe that's just a temporary thing until the screens are active. Yeah, same thing. Like go go meat, classic slice, cheese and pepperoni, yeah. Same same basic stuff. And the uh, the guy's back to doing his grilling over there. <laughs> it's so weird. It's just like a sign of pizza. I thought it would get to me. I don't know. Be more DC related. Because one of them's gonna be like Big Belly Burger, right? Mm, no. I hope that's just temporary, because it's a little bit disappointing if it is. Don't know if I can see the different green before. I can see the yellow, but right through the loop, right above that building, you'll see the other uh, shade of green. It's good contrast right there. seems wider. I know it's very bright today too, but I think they might have painted the back or put up some sort of paneling. I'm not completely sure. So it looks like what I was thinking about last time was correct. That's going to be the entrance to Tidal Wave right there. People working on putting up the, I guess, the sign. And here's a good angle of the Riddler paint job. I think the lighter yellow will be the primer coat, and the darker yellow is gonna be actual color. You can see those two right there. I wouldn't think they'd have two shades of yellow. That would make no sense. But then again, weirder things have happened. Yeah, that's gotta be a primer. And it looks like the green is done. I was just about to walk away, but I think a guy might be painting right now in that bucket right there. I'll see how far I can zoom in. I think that's a guy. Yeah, it definitely is. I guess that's how you paint. <laughs> kind of nerve-wracking. Look at that. 
Yeah, it looks like they have painted over the barbecue joint. I think it was JR barbecue or whatever. And they're going to be retheming that. I'll get us some shots from the other side too. Okay, here's the front of the building. Looks like they got their primers and various paints and paste and whatever else on there. Right in front of us. I'm not sure if this is going to be a planner bed or some sort of other thematic element introducing you to the metropolis area, but got the looks like a curb around the edge and some maybe electrical wire in there. Watering, I don't know. Okay, still doing a lot of work here. They have all the materials out here, rebar and such, whatever that weird forklift kind of thing is. So right there, green and black. Just the old one, then right there leads into the new green and yellow. Interesting comparison. I was checking to see how the building is. Probably a lot of the work still being done inside. I don't really notice any new things on the outside. So it seems like this uh, restaurant, which I guess had the black bean burgers or whatever, is now open. This is new right there. I wonder if this is a kiosk of some sort. Maybe they're adding a... I don't think it's a restroom area. Could be theming of some sort. It's like a lot of uh, landscaping. That bulldozer is moving, looks like a planter. I'm pretty sure it's a planter. A bunch of bushes or little trees in there. I think the gazebo has new cinder blocks in it. Or maybe I just don't remember them. Cinder blocks over there as well. Two separate kind of pits or foundations for something. I don't know. Like I've said in previous updates, this is going to be the beer garden area. Maybe there are planters too. You need the garden for the beer garden. <laughs> yeah. yeah, not much you can see from this angle. Let's zoom in a bit, see what we can see. I swear the bushes have gotten bigger each time. <laughs> they, they didn't even bother moving the trash can and recycling bottle <laughs> out to where people could use it. They just left it behind the construction wall. Hey look, I've got a dumpster. Let's look at exciting dumpster action. So I was looking at this park map over here by the Roaring Rapids. And so here's what so here's where we kind of do our construction updates from around here. Here's that planter bed. Looks like it's going to be a kind of a tall sign that probably says Metropolis. This is going to be, I look down here, going to be Ace of Clubs. And let's see if 54 through 56, that's like pizza area that we sat out, have names. Yeah, Metro Park Pub, Metropolis Snacks, I think I saw that already, and then Big Belly Burger and Carlini's Pizza. I'm not sure what Carlini has to do with uh, DC, but someone probably does. Big Belly you see all the time in the uh, uh, CW shows. That's just a play of words on <laughs> Metropolis and Metro Park, yeah. Okay, yeah, it's a club. That, that part I didn't know for this, what used to be the barbecue joint. And look, they even have really repainted in the yellow and green. Fun. go that is the new tidal wave entrance a little plain but it doesn't need to be super fancy otherwise I'd still say they should uh, change it into like Aquaman or Aqualad and there's definitely some uh, progress over here but let me show this first I think they're done you're painting Riddler the yellow and green there yeah, it looks okay Looks okay. Yeah, they're definitely doing something under there for the, uh, I always forget if it's JR, JV, JJ, <laughs> the barbecue place. Let's get some other angles. And there's the other side of the barbecue. Nothing really happening yet. There's a better spot of, uh, there's a better shot of Riddler right there with this new paint. Can 
as you can see, Justice League has started to get the, I guess that's insulation on the outside. Some construction oriented person can help me out with that. Or at least some sort of board to put more of the facade up on. Oh, there's movement. They're actually doing some construction over there. Ah, oh, I thought I was going to walk to that little uh, bulldozer, backhoe, whatever it is. Okay, here's a... It's kind of a panorama of what's going on here. They're still working on that entrance sign. Remember, we looked on the map last time and saw what it would look like. Repaint of Riddler. And there's the front, starting to look more like, <laughs> more like the ride there. That's got the kind of trademarked arch. Not the golden arch, that's something different. Although it is yellow. So one thing I noticed is actually making the, I'm guessing those will be steps out there into the main entrance there. Some little steps there. And behind the bulldozer, not super visible, but that will probably be the exit, maybe through a gift shop. Maybe on ride photos. So from what I understand, the queue is kind of going to use some of the Riddler's old queue, so it's going to go on the other side over there, and I guess eventually come in somehow. But we'll just have to wait and see. We have the dining area still looks the same, but I see a spot we can look through over here. It's a nice little window or something. Let's see if we can get over here. Oh, look at that! This is much better. That's what we saw them doing the other day. We we're wondering what it was. Still don't know what it is yet. Huh. I'm gonna say it'll be some sort of food kiosk. Oh, they're working on the roof up there. Let's see if we can get a better angle. So at the top here, I'm still not sure what these poles are. There's some sort of metal pole and a, and a line there. We can check out the top. Went up here too. Huh. It's not gonna be an entrance. They got a uh, like a retaining wall down there. Right there. Hmm. They've got to put something to block people from going in. Yep. Not much to see from this angle anymore. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, we can. Uh, I don't know if we could see that before. Those other poles. It looks like the. Uh, is that the same set they're working on here, or is that just my angle? <laughs> okay, we definitely have a lot more theming going on. Zoom in on this. And then uh, JR Barbecue, <laughs> I think it's JR. Um, Ace of Clubs, looking pretty good. I think I can dress it a bit more, but looking good so far. I like that. Okay, there's the uh, front. Oh, there's a nice little card there. Ace of Clubs. Still doing some landscaping out here. 
don't have a ton of time to finish it, so <laughs> we'll see if it's more of a soft open versus a hard open. They're painting the uh, outside there. There's actually a guy on the side of the building I'll show you in a second. It looks like they're painting a skyline. Yeah, it's a skyline. Yeah, the front of the building is definitely taking more shape. Be painting there too. Yeah, painting there. I think that's gonna look good. I'm pleased. I'm pleased. I'm really looking all nice and green and yellow. It definitely stands out a lot more from Green Lantern over there. Okay, it looks like they've uh, finalized the stairs right there. And over here, they've outlined the walkways. Those look like cinder blocks on that pallet. They've changed up. That's probably where the entrance is going to be right there. The Riddler's entrance is going to be right there. It looks a little bit different. Yeah. Fine. Having an important meeting. Yeah. Wow, all the construction fences are down from up here. Metro Park. Guess that's what the area is called. Now we can actually see what's going on here. There's the pub, aka the beer garden. Okay, so I guess that's just a seating area up there, what I thought might be a kiosk. Nope, just like a seating area, but there's no no shade. These are, oh, these are interesting little, like, umbrellas there. I like that. Good to repurpose things, especially if they can be made nice. Okay, it must be a backstage area right there. Yeah, it'll be good. Okay, I think they added this seating up here by Jetstream. I don't remember this being here before. Well, <laughs> I mean, you can still uh, still get by there. I'm sure they'll put up a wall at some point. Let's go back to our favorite growing bush spot. Yeah, not sure if they're going to paint around the back side of the building too, especially since they have that kind of... I'm not sure if it's a wood wall, but that brown wall right there, separating the guests from the employee area, and the uh, quote-unquote backstage area. Yeah, looking good. Looking forward to uh, getting on this ride. anticipated new attraction of the year, Justice League, Battle for Metropolis, the next generation. It's by far the most innovative, immersive, and multifaceted attraction on the planet, pushing the dark ride experience to the limits. Join the league and get ready to ride, play, and triumph. We promise it will shatter your expectations. Today. Please enjoy the rest of your day. Let's take a tour of all the changes. As we saw before, Tidal Wave entrance is right there. Such a lovely sight walking here. No green fence, walking straight up to the Hall of Justice. And over here you have the Ace of Clubs, the barbecue joint. No more do I have to <laughs> remember if it's JR or JB or I don't remember. 
Wait, looks like barbecue tri-tip, turkey legs, baby back ribs, pulled pork. I don't think it's open just yet, as it's evidenced by the guests looking inside. We can look inside too. Just see how it looks. Maybe later we'll actually walk inside. things where it looked like you're flying through the air because it's tilted sideways be Superman it's nice to see Riddler back in operation it's nice new paint and everything very lovely now the question is what they can do over here oh so they've actually chewed up a little bit of the concrete just uh, dirt over here, but it looks like the rest of the path is still in there for tidal wave. And the exit's still over here. So here's a view of Riddler you wouldn't have gotten because right around here was the gas station. The Justice League ride over here, which we uh, went on first thing. The line's actually not too bad. Oh look, they got all the superheroes over here. They got Batman, Wonder Woman, Superman, Supergirl, and Green Lantern. Oh, if only Julie were here, she could meet them all. I'm not really much of a, of a character meter, but it's good to see them. Justice League Hall. I'll put a link in for the video right around here. We've called you here to help with a dangerous situation that's taking place out on the streets of Metropolis. 
Lex Luthor has teamed up with the Joker to take control of the city by wiping out the Justice League. Between Luthor's master plan and the Joker's random attacks, they've ambushed us at every turn. Let me tell you about your ride. It's a high-tech military vehicle developed by the government's anti-supervillain task force, Argus. It's a self-guided hovercraft, so you can focus on blasting the bad guys without worrying about where you're going. I'll handle the navigation remotely. signs over here so it's not just pizza <laughs> I always thought that was weird they, they wouldn't have done that oh so up here they have those little fire pits now I remember these from when they were roasting marshmallows I believe the check is to keep the food in order. If anyone wants to push them here, oh. <laughs> uh, I'm going to go to the hospital. Yeah, there's the uh, scenic area I was talking about. Could be nice on a cold night, but definitely not much use right now. There's the back of it. You can see a little uh, daily, uh, daily planet globe right there. The walk up bar, we'll check that out in a second. Oh, they got a stage over here. Seems nice and shaded. So they still have the construction walls up there. Huh. Wonder when those are coming down. Yeah, plenty of seating. Looks like additional uh, spaces to buy drinks right there. So I'm not sure if this is mostly drinks or if you can buy food there. I don't see a menu, but I'll, I'll look in a second. I took a look at the bar area. It seems like it's just uh, alcohol. And just like food, etc., they have kind of a uh, no taking alcohol past this point sign, which is understandable. You don't want it to go in the rest of the park. Although, I think a DCA, uh, California Adventure, I think they sell like beer at those different stands. And I think you can take it wherever you want, but don't quote me on that. I've never gotten alcohol at a theme park before because it's super expensive. So, let's check out the menus for each area. Just got off just a few. We've got this 
got a sign update. Up there we have the Justice League Battle for Metropolis. Yep. Going the right direction. Tidal Wave. Yeah, I guess that's the right direction. It's right over there. And then they changed that. You got Big Valley and Carlini's along with some other uh, restaurants over there as well. But yay, they changed the sign. Didn't wait forever. Good job. And we'll check near uh, Sandblast to see if that sign has changed too. Basically, they took over the Riddler's Revenge sign. You can still see like the old Riddler's Revenge thing underneath, Justice League. This, they just changed the Tidal Wave logo. It's a Tidal Wave, now it's Tidal Wave. But now Riddler doesn't have a sign. This is so weird. Like, I know you want to save stuff, but you could just make a new sign. It looks kind of weird. Oh, okay. Rope.